The misconceptions of Brockton, the stereotypes of Brockton, throw them out the window. If pictures speak a thousand words, I'm going to let pictures speak for Brockton. A group of Brockton's youth, in collaboration with Arts for Humanity and the Mary's Summer Job Program, got their creative juices flowing and dreamed up these images on what they feel represents the city of Brockton. There's about 14 of us that are working on it, and um, everybody came up with the idea, the concept, and put in the legwork to make this come together. Today, we're trying to go through our third week in painting this mural over here in the south side of Brockton, and um, we're just going through getting close to putting the final detail onto our piece. At first, it's, it's, you know, it's like getting thrown into a classroom. You just go to do it. You don't know anybody there. You just know what you're going to do. And here I knew I was going to do art. And now it's like we're all family because we're all so close. We know everyone's strengths and weaknesses. We've learned so much about each other and who can do what and who can't do what. And it's not always a bad thing if you can't do it because it's always someone there that can't. For every hand out there working, there's another helping hand ready to go with it. We have a lot of conversations about how outsiders view Brockton teens or just Brockton period. And they wanted to break through those stereotypes and just kind of show that, you know, anybody or any young person from here could like possibly do anything that they put their mind to. And um, just learning how they wanted to put that story together, it was kind of like a lot, there was a lot of commentary behind what we actually visually came up with. There was just, a, you know, choosing the right images to portray, um, thinking about the right way we wanted to tell the story and traditionally taking it from where it's being read from like right to left, I mean, from left to right, to have it read from right to left. The dynamic of the wall, like the, the size of the wall was something that was a challenge alone. And it was like, how do you take a wall that goes from big to small and tell a huge story or make a huge impact? So it was just one of those things that we had a lot of challenges. Didn't look like a place where it would hold a mural. And we took all our energy and created that spot. This mural that was done by Artists for Humanity and it was an effort that was supported by the mayor's uh, summer youth program through some Shannon grant funding, some funding from the district attorney's office, and it gave some young people opportunity to use their artistic creation to and talents to better improve the city and, and take this wall and make it into something that represents the city, and it's just been a terrific undertaking. The mural is about individuality, about developing, about knowing that sky is the limit, you know, like to grow and then to keep growing, to dream and to keep dreaming and just to be a leader, to inspire others to do something more. Um, we chose to give the character creative juices just to represent that whole idea of just like, you know, your mind is full of so much, you know, exploit it, take it to the next level. I understand it, uh, is that the idea is that sky's the limit, and that if you follow the, the uh, mural as it works from uh, right to left, that it's the interaction of a young person, and you kind of see a color in their head, and what you see is that with interactions with other people, people they interact with, their, what's going on in their thinking and their brains and their thoughts is influenced by the, that person who interacts with them. And by the end of it, what's important is that each person has their, their own color in their head. And it represents to the young people who put this together, from my understanding, that the sky's the limit, particularly if you really stick true to your own individuality. Don't let anybody tell you you can't do something. Because no matter what your background is or whatever, there's a job out there for you. There's a job for anybody. Anything's possible. Myself, I could do art, but I gave up on my art. And now look at me. I'm back at it. Smack dab in the middle of it. And it's coming all together. The whole group's doing a good job. You can't even take part by saying it was just yourself doing it. It was a whole team. I just think it brightens things up and it um, has people take pride in, in a certain area and, and it also shows off the talent of our young people and I think that that's really important. You know, hopefully we hope to do more of this. We hope to get more groups together to do more murals, to just be able to help more teens explore different things, the arts and, you know, we really want to make a change in our city. It looks like it's actually coming out at you. 
It's not even just like an average painting. I think it's more than a mural. This is like breathing. It's talking to me. Like I said, I learned a lot about Brockton youth, and we just challenge everybody from Brockton to just stop, look, and then kind of listen to what they have to say from what they portrayed on the wall. So hopefully this image, or these images do that. I'm just glad that we were able to support this program and we we're able to nurture these young people and their artistic talents and we hope that they'll be able to continue to use those talents and, and go forward and, and make us proud.